Welcome back. It's time for Africa Health Report. And joining us now is health correspondent Lino Mudu. Hello, Lino. Hello, Vincent. Hello, everyone. The global healthcare company GlaxoSmithKline has announced a series of investments in Africa, more than $200 million within the next five years, including funds are targeted to fight non-communicable non diseases and support the development of new medicines. And joining us now live via Skype from London is Dr. Alan Pamba, Vice President for Pharmaceuticals, East Africa and Government Affairs with GlaxoSmithKline. Dr. Pamba, welcome to the program. Thank you, Lino. So tell us about this new funding. Uh, statistics show that there is an increase on, of non-communicable diseases such as cancer in Africa. So what type of new strategies will be, will be implemented to help fight these diseases? Thank you, Linot. So we have announced the setting up of the first uh, non-communicable disease research lab dedicated to Africa. And we've, we're putting in 25 billion pounds and we'll be looking for much funding from other partners uh, to drive this forward. We will be looking to establish strong links with at least 20 leading academic universities in Africa. We will be looking to provide postdoctoral fellowships to upskill African scientists who want to investigate uh, non-communicable diseases in Africa. And through this, we hope to understand why, for example, hypertension tends to be, in Africa, tends to be more resistant to treatment, uh, or breast cancer presenting earlier and more aggressively in African women than we've seen in the West. So with these investments, we're both going to help advance the science in non-communicable diseases, but also help to build the skill sets in Africa that will take this agenda forward. So what type of impact do you foresee within the next five years then? Well, I, I expect that with what we, agree, what we have announced, others will come in and Africa will begin to build infrastructure to support dealing with the challenge of non-communicable diseases. As you know, the burden of non-communicable diseases is almost as far at the moment with, with communicable diseases. And in fact, is increasing with the expanding middle class. So with our announcements, uh, hopefully with others who will join in, we will begin to hopefully see a response to non-communicable diseases similar to what we saw with the HIV epidemic 10, 15 years ago. And quickly in 10 seconds, you also want to invest in uh, new medicine in Africa. Yes, we have announced the setting up of five new factories in five new sub-Saharan Africa countries. Hopefully this should help us to bring the medicine production closer to the patients and also create employment and uh, drive economic activity in these countries. Okay, Dr. Pamba, that's all the time we have. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Linod. And that was Dr. Alan Pamba with GlaxoSmithKline joining us from London.